The entire stock market and highly speculative plays have been taken an absolute beating lately, but let me pop on the screen the history of the SPY. Now, you can see right there that every single dip has been absolutely bought up throughout history. That does not mean you should be averaging down on every red play you have, but if you can pick out the high quality, low dilution or no dilution, great share structure, high revenues, high future revenue plays in the OTC markets and these speculative markets, you have a great opportunity to pick these up while they are cheap. And that is not financial advice, just my opinion and what has worked out for me throughout my trading journey. And that does not just mean average down every single red day. You got to look out for these support levels. Look for historically strong support levels. Find an area where you feel comfortable buying and strike when you see a price that you think is undervalued. Now, in this video, I have two oil and gas penny stocks to watch as oil is surging towards $100 a barrel. Idlist PR today and under the radar update on the Idlist spinoffs and NASDAQ uplist plans. I added 120,000 more shares of a double zero play. And at the end of the video, I will cover a double zero blockchain stock that is ripping higher every day, even as the crypto markets are coming down, even as the entire market is coming down, it's ripping higher. You're going to want to see this one. And they are going on CNBC in March. Click the Discord link in the top pinned comment to get all these plays from this channel early. Jay made a quick 200% trade for a quick $1,000 from a Discord alert on Thursday. And if you want to buy or sell any of these OTC stocks, click the interactive brokers link in the top pin comment. Stock number one, ticker NXMR. This is the play I've been covering on the Discord and Twitter since three cent. Link to both of those platforms in the description below. And what initially caught my eye about the company was they were successfully acquiring high revenue producing oil and gas companies at a time where oil and gas is skyrocketing in value and crude has went from a 2020 low of $11 to a 2022 high of $95. And it looks like oil could be headed to over $100. So you should all be keeping an eye on oil and gas plays. And the next stock I will cover in this video is what I believe to be the next up oil and gas beast in the OTC market. Now, NXMR up another 12% on the day, $64 million market cap. This shows you how strong these oil and gas plays are with NXMR being so strong in this awful market. Now, the recent acquisitions were Emco Oil Field Services that services over 68 oil field clients with 45 million revenue since 2018. They also acquired Defender Contracting, which is an oil field business with 4.6 million revenue. And NXMR is looking for more acquisitions in the oil and gas space. And in a PR just today, they stated exploring expansion organically or through acquisition with additional service centers in the other areas of the Permian Basin. Now, on February 9th, they also stated we are looking for additional acquisitions in the oil field service industry and are currently in final negotiations with several upcoming entities. So it does look like they have even further acquisitions coming along. And they did have a PR today, 222, that we are pleased to announce that our subsidiary, Emco Oil Field Services, is opening a new eight bay commercial truck and trailer service location. This location will provide vital mechanical welding truck trailer and tire services to not only our own fleet, but to other oil field trucking companies in the Permian Basin. There are mass share reductions that are supposed to be coming for NXMR. And on February 7th, they stated we have a stop order with Empire Stock for 500 75 million restricted stock that we are going to cancel in the next coming months. If successful, NXMR would bring the restricted to only 2 million and they would also bring the outstanding down to 85 million, which would put the market cap at around $10 million market cap from that 64 million right now. This would be a significant change to the share structure at a only 41 million float. And the float is how many shares are available to be publicly traded on the market. Now, next stock we're diving into ticker MVNT. I covered this in yesterday's video and I will cover it again because I believe this had the chance to be the next oil and gas beast in the OTC markets. It also has a low float at a $12 million market cap. Movement Industries invest in emerging growth companies in energy, oil and gas, renewables, and industrial manufacturing sectors over 50 years of experience in the global energy market, and they are acquiring complementary business units. And in a tweet on February 17th, and keep in mind, this company does not tweet often at all. They said, shareholders, thank you in advance for your patience as we prepare our disclosures and onboard a new CFO. More announcements to follow when financials are posted on OTC markets. 
The reason I believe they are waiting for financials and kind of telling us that look out for these financials is because on May 19th, 2021, they stated the company originally planned to achieve approximately 100 million revenue through acquisitions or mergers. However, now the company has a game plan to meet this goal organically. So I do expect that from this recent tweet that they're going to have decent revenues coming in when they go ahead and put out those financials. And if you check out the most recent PR from January, they have a lot going on. 2021 highlights include engineering and supply of lead critical processes valves for existing and major clients, product launch of ICAM projects in Canada and Europe, a project in Asia, supporting with products and services for offshore LNG platforms and multiple locations around the world, supplying engineering and various products to several major subsea EPC contractors, and completed the application and certified for SAM.gov, which has the potential to lead the company securing larger government contracts and 2022 focus is with increased activities in the oil and natural gas markets. The company fully expects its pumps and valves division to increase sales and revenues. The company is currently in negotiations to secure contracts for additional revenue derived from the United States, Mexico and Middle East contract. I'm very bullish on MVNT and what they have coming very soon and I will be providing more due diligence this week. Turn on the notification bell to get updates instantly as these videos are very time sensitive. Next stock we're hopping into ticker ILUS down another 13% on the day. I still remain very bullish on ILS. I believe this has the potential to be a $1 billion company in the future. A $1 billion company does not happen overnight. So we got to keep that in mind. But they had some under the radar news that shows they are taking steps for the first spinoff and NASDAQ uplist. But first, let's go over some price levels that you need to be taking a look at. We have some great support at the 0 0.0097 level right around here. If we break below that, the next level to look for is around seven cents. With what is going on in the world today in Russia and Ukraine, expect anything to happen. And if you're looking to add more shares, I'm personally comfortable adding just below that 10 cent point. But if you believe the worst is coming, wait to see if we break below the major support at 0977 and wait for ILIS to find another bottom to secure a position or potentially add more to your position under the radar NASDAQ and spinoff updates. So they posted a PR today, but most of you need to look at this section from the PR. And let me say this first, they recently went over in the shareholder meeting their plans to spin off subsidiaries of ILIS into their own new company with a new stock ticker, while the main parent company ticker ILUS maintains over 51% ownership of these companies. So the revenue will still be recorded in ILUS's books. Well, we got an update that went under the radar about these spinoffs. ILUS is currently in the process of setting up the legal entities for its subsidiary companies, including the previously mentioned emergency response technology business. The company also registered a further five Delaware entities, including the likes of Vera Drones. ILUS is focused on growing ERT aggressively with further acquisitions to be added over the coming months, including the execution of a very large acquisition in the U.S., both ERT and Vera drones are integral to the delivery of very significant ILIS milestones over the coming months. And here are a few PowerPoint slides from the shareholder meeting that kind of gives you an idea of how these spin outs will work and the actual projected global market value and the forecasted company valuation for these spin offs. And here's a little bit of a roadmap. ILIS has registered six new companies with Delaware today. Emergency Response, Firebug, ILIS Industries, Veer Drones, E-Raptor, and Curve XR. The first being Emergency Response, which ILIS already has a Twitter account for. And the first tweet from this company is Emergency Response Technologies has started its journey. Join us as we create and acquire disruptive public safety solutions for heroic first responders and the communities they serve. Our mission is to save lives and change lives. This will be spun out as ticker ERT and the forecasted company valuation is that $500 million or even higher. When this division of ILIS is spun out, ILIS shareholders will get shares of the spin out and possibly even dividends. There will only be one spin out in 2022, and that is ERT. The other ones will be years down the line. Each division of these spin outs was given a forecasted valuation. ERT, 500 million. Firebug, 400 million. E-Raptor, 600 million. Veer Drones, 1 billion. Curve XR, 500 million. And there's another one that's coming soon, which is valued at one billion. Each company will have its own division under the ILIS conglomerate and to eventually spin off and uplist on its own. This will add value to shareholders along the way. And here is some more juicy information from that PR today. ILIS has concluded its first round of manufacturing and distribution acquisitions, which one is still to be announced that the market is aware of. ILIS has received approval for the go ahead of its first phase of the Southeastern Europe 
deal, which is going to be announced very soon, any day now with several government departments involved. Eyeless raised 15 million in funding, and this funding is for the next round of the acquisitions, which have been progressing behind the scenes for many months already. And Eyeless remains in a very strong position to actually exceed its revenue targets for 2022, which was 50 million or 55 million. The Eyeless board has agreed the next round of acquisitions. The board is targeting two to three acquisitions per quarter this year and has approved further expansion of the acquisition team to ensure delivery of that target. Eyeless has already started the process of getting its acquired companies audited, and these audits are important not only for Eyeless to become fully reporting, but also for several valuations which are due to take place over the next coming months. The Eyeless board has also approved the hiring of numerous important recruits to support the management growth and its latest acquisitions. And in preparation for the next phase, Eyeless will be adding 25 key members of its staff to the team over the next six months, excluding the 300 it plans to add from the Europe deal. Eyeless plans to reveal an extensive range of revolutionary wildland firefighting products and solutions at several exhibitions in the U.S. during 2022. Following successful completion of a significant acquisition, which is in a promising discussion with Eyeless has been working on the acquisition of an impressive range of wildland firefighting equipment. Eyeless will add substantial revenue through this acquisition, and Eyeless is also in discussion with several more potential U.S. distribution acquisitions. There is so much going on for Eyeless, and now let's go ahead and hop into ticker ICOA, which is up 31% on the day at 0 0.0084 at a $38 million market cap. Last time I covered ICOA, it was sitting at 0049 on February 6th. If you watched that video, did a little bit of homework and took a position, you're up nearly 70% from that entry. And ICOA is a merger that was facilitated by David Chung, and David Chung is the CFO of AAPT. And by the way, I added another 120,000 shares of AAPT today. Still bullish on that one, and I will be updating that one very soon. ICOA has been given consistent shareholder updates recently, with one of them being the 2022 roadmap, as you can see here. ICOA will be on CNBC on March 8th, and they are not diluting on February 17th. They said they're committed to no dilution, and they're going to promise to shareholders that they will not dilute. In 2021, ICOA acquired BGBF and IBG for a total value of $425 million. BGBF being 240 million acquisition and IBG being 185 million acquisition, the total value 425 million. They wrote off all the debt and the BGBF acquisition has a fund of 5,000 Bitcoin in it and ICOA owns this full company. You can see Bitcoin 5,000 in this fund. Make sure you drop a like on this video, turn on the notification bell, drop a comment and check out my previous video. That's it for me. Peace.